Beneath the blinding white silence of Antarctica lies a ticking time bomb. Scientists have recently uncovered one of the largest volcanic regions on Earth buried beneath the West Antarctic ice sheet. Over 130 volcanoes, many of them massive, hidden for millennia under miles of ice. Now, as global temperatures rise and the ice begins to retreat, these long dormant giants are slowly awakening. But what happens when fire meets ice on a continent already teetering on the edge of climate collapse? Most people think of Antarctica as a frozen wasteland, quiet, static, and lifeless. But what if it's actually one of the most geologically volatile places on the planet? Could melting glaciers really trigger volcanic eruptions? Could a wave of eruptions beneath the ice sheet destabilize glaciers, speed up sea level rise, and accelerate the very climate crisis that caused it all? What was once thought to be a geologically dead zone is now emerging as a potential hotspot for volcanic activity with global implications. Join us today as we explore Antarctica's hidden volcanoes that are now awakening. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Antarctica's icy facade has long masked the geological forces rumbling beneath its surface. The bulk of known volcanoes lie under the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, a region that geologists now believe may rival East Africa's Rift Valley in volcanic density. In 2017, a team from the University of Edinburgh discovered 91 previously unknown volcanoes using radar data that could penetrate ice and reveal the topography of the bedrock below. This discovery brought the total known volcanoes in West Antarctica to over 138, making it one of the densest volcanic regions on Earth. Unlike the volcanoes of Hawaii or Iceland, many of Antarctica's are completely hidden from view, buried under kilometers of ice. Some tower more than 4,000 meters high from their base, yet have never been seen by human eyes. They include massive shield volcanoes, steep strato volcanoes, and even active geothermal systems that produce enough heat to create subglacial lakes. One of the most active volcanoes, Mount Erebus, located on Ross Island, is visible above the ice and is the southernmost active volcano on Earth. It has been erupting continuously since the 1970s, with a persistent lava lake churning inside its crater, but it may not be the only one showing signs of life. Volcanoes are deeply influenced by the pressure of their surroundings. When an ice sheet weighing billions of tons presses down on the Earth's crust, it suppresses the magma beneath it. This phenomenon, known as glacial loading, keeps volcanic systems in check by containing the pressure of magma chambers. But when the ice melts, as is currently happening at an alarming rate in Antarctica, that pressure is lifted. As the ice recedes and the weight above the volcanoes diminishes, magma can expand more freely, gases can escape more rapidly, and the likelihood of an eruption increases. This process, called isostatic rebound, has been observed in other parts of the world, notably Iceland. After the last ice age, the retreat of glaciers in Iceland led to a massive increase in volcanic activity, with eruption rates increasing by up to 50 times. Scientists now fear a similar dynamic could unfold in Antarctica, where the ice loss is occurring on a continental scale. Adding to this concern is the fact that much of the West Antarctic ice sheet lies below sea level. An under-ice eruption in this area could trigger a chain reaction, melting more ice, destabilizing glaciers, creating new meltwater lakes, and sending more ice into the ocean. Such a scenario could lead to several meters of sea level rise over the coming centuries, inundating coastal cities around the world. Of all the volcanoes in Antarctica, Mount Erebus stands out as the most active and closely studied. Its persistent lava lake, one of only a handful in the world, provides scientists with a rare window into the workings of a polar volcano. The volcano's continuous eruptions send gas and lava bombs into the air, and occasional explosive eruptions have been recorded. Mount Erebus is also a powerful reminder that Antarctica is not geologically dormant. Seismic studies around the volcano have revealed tremors and magma movements beneath the surface. Even more unsettling, some scientists have detected low-frequency earthquakes and heat anomalies in areas of West Antarctica far from Erebus, 
indicators that other volcanoes may be stirring beneath the ice. For example, Mount Takahe and Mount Weishi are both thought to have erupted in the past 10,000 years. Satellite data and airborne radar have picked up signs of geothermal heat under these mountains, as well as beneath nearby glaciers. Mount Melbourne has shown fumarolic activity and heat emissions, suggesting its volcanic system remains active. In fact, there are even reports of moss growing in geothermal areas around its base. Clear evidence of ongoing warmth and life in a place that should be frozen solid. When a volcano erupts under a glacier, it doesn't behave the way it would in an open-air environment. The intense pressure of overlying ice can contain the explosion to a degree, but it also traps heat, creating massive meltwater reservoirs. Eventually, this water can burst out in what's known as a glacial outburst flood, a sudden release of meltwater capable of carving out valleys, collapsing ice shelves, and sweeping away everything in its path. In Iceland, such floods have caused significant destruction. In Antarctica, the stakes are much higher. A subglacial eruption could melt the base of a major glacier, reduce its stability, and lead to its rapid disintegration into the sea. This is especially concerning for the Thwaites and Pine Island glaciers, two of the most vulnerable glaciers in West Antarctica. These glaciers are already losing ice at an accelerating rate, and a new research suggests that geothermal heat and possible volcanic activity beneath them may be playing a role. If a major eruption occurred beneath one of these glaciers, it could further destabilize the entire West Antarctic ice sheet. The resulting collapse would not be an isolated event. It could unleash an unstoppable flow of ice into the ocean, contributing several meters to global sea levels over the coming centuries. Volcanoes and climate are more interconnected than most people realize. Volcanic eruptions release ash, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Depending on the size and intensity of the eruption, these emissions can have both cooling and warming effects. Sulfur aerosols can reflect sunlight and temporarily cool the planet, as seen after the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo. However, carbon dioxide contributes to long-term warming. In Antarctica, there's another feedback loop to worry about. If volcanic eruptions begin melting more ice, the dark meltwater can absorb more sunlight, leading to further warming and more ice loss a process called albedo reduction. This could set off a chain reaction in which warming leads to eruptions, eruptions lead to more melting, and more melting leads to additional warming. Studying volcanoes beneath kilometers of ice is no easy task. Traditional seismic instruments often fail to detect deep activity due to the insulating effects of ice. However, advances in satellite remote sensing, ice-penetrating radar, and GPS geodesy are helping scientists monitor subtle ground movements, thermal anomalies, and seismic signals that suggest magma is on the move. In 2013, NASA's IceBridge mission detected an active volcanic heat source under the Pine Island Glacier. Later studies confirmed the presence of a subglacial volcano, with signs that it had erupted within the last few centuries. Meanwhile, seismic arrays deployed across West Antarctica have picked up low-frequency tremors believed to be linked to magma movement. These technologies are crucial for providing early warnings about potential eruptions and helping researchers map the complex network of magma chambers and geothermal hotspots hidden below the ice. If Antarctica's volcanoes were to erupt in a cascade of activity, the consequences would not be confined to the southern continent. Sea level rise would affect every coastal region in the world, from New York to Mumbai. Disruptions to the global climate system could result from atmospheric emissions, while increased ice melt could alter ocean currents and weather patterns. The economic costs of even a modest sea level rise are staggering. Trillions of dollars in infrastructure could be threatened, along with freshwater supplies, agricultural zones, and entire island nations. But perhaps the greatest danger lies in the possibility that this process could become self-reinforcing, a runaway feedback loop fueled by warming, ice melt, and volcanic fire. We may still have time to prepare. 
Improved monitoring, climate action, and global cooperation are essential to managing the risks ahead. But the window is closing. Beneath Antarctica's icy silence lies a restless force. Hundreds of hidden volcanoes, dormant for tens of thousands of years, may be waking up. And when they erupt, the entire world will feel the impact. 